Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So one sort of storytelling theme or idea that I really enjoy is sort of like comedy of manners sort of thing. Um, I feel like this was really common or still is kind of common in like British literature. I feel like the first instance I had of it was reading Jane Austen and I feel like a lot of sort of classic British literature but or even just like modern British literature deals a lot with class structure because there's a very clear class structure sort of set in place in those periods. But I've been really enjoying seeing it reimagined or explored in modern day literature. The two sort of examples that I'm going to talk about today also uh, deal with cultures that are not Western based, which is probably another reason why I find it really interesting because they are more open about I sort I guess class structures you could say. So the first set of books that I have to talk about is actually a trilogy and that is the Crazy Rich Asians trilogy by Kevin Kwan. This first one's really shiny so I'm not gonna hold it up for too long uh, but the first book is Crazy Rich Asians, the second book is China Rich Girlfriend, and then the third book in the trilogy just came out and is called Rich People Problems. I love these books so much. They're so much fun. And Crazy Rich Asians is actually being made into a movie that's supposed to come out in 2018, I believe, which I'm super excited about. But yeah, this was sort of like my first example of like a modern day version of Comedy of Manners books. And it really reminded me of how much fun that these can really be. Uh, so Comedy of Manners, I should probably explain what that means in case you haven't heard that phrase before, is basically like a satirical look at upper classes of society. And so a lot of what is explored in these types of books are the traditions and the sort of like rules of living in an upper class society and how ridiculous some of those things can really be sometimes. In the Crazy Rich Asian series, uh, you are mainly following a couple of different families. Uh, the two main characters are Nick and Rachel. Uh, Nick comes from a really rich, powerful, influential family in Singapore, and Rachel was born here in the United States. So it's sort of this perfect combination of an outsider looking in on this crazy world and being sort of like a surrogate for the reader or the audience of like exploring what this world is really like, uh, what the rules are, what their values are, what they seem to care about, things like that. Yeah, it's just really so, so, so much fun. Kevin Kwan does a really great job of finding this balance of like talking about how like elegant and opulent all of these people are, but also talking about how like crazy and insane some of their ideas are. And it's just so, so much fun. It's sort of like the perfect fun, light, again, just comedy of manner sort of book that really does a great job of exploring this upper class of society that the vast majority of us will never have exposure to. The other one that I recently read is a new release and that is The Windfall by Diksha Basu. Um, this one takes place in Delhi in India and it follows this family who recently came into a lot of money because the father created this website and sold it for a significant amount of money and so uh, they are moving from one part of Delhi, like this apartment complex, to having their own house in a much richer part of Delhi and it's again just a really fun read. It explores a lot about the idea of like a keeping up with the Joneses sort of society, uh, wanting to have the best things possible and looking over your shoulder or looking over your neighbor's fence to see what they have and then figuring out how you can sort of like top that or at least meet it. Again like I said this family moves from an apartment complex to this house so part of it is sort of them you see their thinking and what they perceive to be what rich people do and then you see sort of like the rich people in their new neighborhood and what they actually do and how they perceive things might be different. Um, there was like one scene in here that that was really great where the family, the father of the family was going out to buy luggage and he saw that the luggage with the like name brand logo over it. I don't think it was Louis Vuitton, but it's something like a similar type of brand. Like the one with the logo all over it was cheaper than the version that was just like all black and you couldn't see the logo at all. And the father was so confused about why that would be because like clearly you would want the one that shows off the logo so that way everyone knows that you're carrying this sort of like name brand luggage around and yet like the way the sort of like even higher class things is like you don't want to be sort of showing off if you are part of that class and culture you already know what these name brand bags look like and you don't need to have the logo like placid or all, all over it. So it's just like that really interesting contrast of what uh, someone who's new to that society would perceive to be what a rich person would do and then sort of like what the rich people are actually doing in that world and how they view sort of the things that you know one person's 
thinks as being extravagant is really not extravagant to another person. And it's just like this fun sort of satirical analysis of these upper classes of society that's just, yeah, a lot of fun. And then it also just sort of weaves in Indian culture, which I found really amusing as I'm someone who's of Indian descent. So yeah, those are the examples that I have for you guys in this video. If you have any other examples of modern comedy of manners, uh, I would love to hear about them down in the comment section below, especially if they take place in like sort of other countries or other cultures that might not be as like well represented in this genre, like if it's not in English, is <laughs> basically sort of comedy of manners. I would love to hear about it. But you can leave your English ones that, down in the comment section as well, because I think especially modern day takes on it are really interesting to me since we don't think about class system quite as much, or we at least like to pretend that it doesn't exist quite as strongly in our modern world, but it definitely does. Uh, so yeah, leave those suggestions down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!